Hello everyone, today we're going to be installing the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y roof racks made by Tesloid. Let's get into it. Step number one, you're going to find these blue little arrows. They're on all four sides of the car. You're going to find the blue little arrows and use the security tape provided in the box. And you're going to tape all arrows to protect your paint. That's the first step. One, two, three, and four. You're going to put your tape on all these four spots. So once you're done installing the tapes on all four sides, on all four corners, what you're going to do next is install the connectors. This is how the connectors are going to be installed. You're going to use a pry tool. You can use a screwdriver. You can use a pry tool to separate the rubber seal from underneath. And you have to make sure that this connector that you're putting in, first of all, is aligned to the arrow. Second of all, you have to place the connector underneath the rubber seal, not over it, but underneath. This is a very important step that you must follow. You can see I'm using a screwdriver to separate the seal. So I'm inserting the connector underneath the seal on all four sides. Please make sure that your arrows are aligned with the connectors. This is how you're going to make sure that your fit is flawless so i'm going to be doing this on all four sides another crucial reminder please place the connectors underneath the seal make sure you get something to separate the seal there's enough room for you to insert the connector The next step is to grab these silicon pads. They're all numbered. So L1 means left front. And make sure you place it like this where the flat side is facing outside the car and the irregular side or the curve is facing inside. So L1 means left front. L2 means left rear. R1 means R right front. And R2 means right rear. Make sure you get this right. It's very important. The next step is to grab your roof racks, the bars, and place them just so you have a perfect placement on top of the silicon pad and you can see the screw. And make sure you do this on all four sides. This is the second bar and then once it's placed properly, you can see the screw. The next step is to screw it tight together. Put the hardware screws on and make sure you just hand tighten them first and then next we're going to use the tool to tighten them use a wrench and just tighten them make sure it's nice tight and secure So this is being done on all four sides. Once they're all tight, the next step is to put covers to hide all the screws. Now this is a crucial step. You want to make sure that you place the cover at the bottom first and then use upwards force to click it into place. Very important. Do it from the bottom first, align it from the bottom, then use upward force like shown in the video. And we're going to do this on all four sides. Once that is done, your installation is complete. Wow, beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys.